Yo, what's up, my people? Welcome back to this channel. You know what we're doing here. Yeah, if you are just waiting for the first time, it's a channel whereby you showcase shoe and you try something out on your own. Today, we are making a broke shoe. If you are just viewing for the first time, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification. Okay, so I've been I've been advertising this for days, talking about the promo for days now. We have a few days to go. So let's let us let us do this guys. Save up for it and you no. Know, let's let's do something. So back to business. Like I said in my uh previous video where I made uh what was it called a shoe sander, I said you have to cut out your lining for a brook shoe as well. Yeah, this is our lining whereby we cut it out and you know it's called the the, the, the lining we use for our counter and our quarter area here we have it we join the two together and we sew but let's leave that for now we have our quarter this is our quarter and the punched area is our collar the punched area on the the quarter is a, on, on the quarter is our collar so we have our vamp and our upper we already know what well, well, have we arrived at this stage whereby we you know we place our pattern on our leather on our material and we cut out the design of what we are making and as you can see here we already punched out our material our leather due to the design we have the, the design of the shoe we are making so we we then join the upper and the vamp we joined it together so that's what we are doing here presently So back to our lining, back to our cutter and our counter. The 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 white area. Let me just say the white area of it where we use the where we made use of our leather lining is the the counter. While the lining area is uh the the cutter. So here we have our counter. We are sewing our counter also. We sew our counter also our uh our cutter area. One thing about broke is that it requires sewing. That's the beauty, that's the design of it. You show the, the, the necessary part of it and you know, so as to bring out the, the same result given to you in the picture. So that's one major aspect of groups and you, all, you, you have to follow the design, the details. So let me just put this one, the design you are making a well detailed group. Yeah, as you can see, we have the quarter already. We are joining it here, as you can see. So we join the the quarter area, and we applied gum to to the area we are going to apply our counter. Just follow the step, follow the video. You will see, you will see what I'm saying. Uh, fast forward to the place. Let me see. yeah this is our counter we added gum to it the lining we which in which we show at first we, we, we lining uh we, we added gum to it then the backstay also don't forget we are making use of backstay is is essential it's paramount is uh is one of the attribute of a of a brooks so this is our counter we added gum to it and don't forget i said we are going to add gum to our uh quarter so as to be able to apply our counter side our counter, uh, counter area so this is what we are doing here as you can see so after that we then you know take it for sewing we sew we, we sew uh, the two together then we bring it back again for for gum for for, for uh, adding gum so let, let, let's see the next step
okay here we have it here and at the other hand we have our tongue we have our tongue i'm very sure we know what tongue is in the area whereby our list uh, our list up is being covered the tongue is the one we draw we draw in a shoe in in, in a lace up shoe brooks uh monk's trap debbie oxford yeah so this is our tongue we saw our tongue also we we we, uh, we line it as foot at first rather before sewing so we saw after sewing don't forget i told you we are going to sew our counter area in which we applied alongside with our uh, our quarter so this is what we are doing here we are sewing as you can see so after after sewing we we then take it to the next step which is yeah uh, the aspect or the area of applying gum Okay, this is our vamp, our vamp and our uh, upper. So as you can see, it's it's bringing out something meaningful now, right? Okay, so what we're doing here now is we are just sewing. That's the only thing we are doing, nothing special, anyways. But as the design implies, and what uh, it shows in what appears in the pictures we were, in the design we were given. So we are sewing here even if it doesn't apply that that's okay fine like i said earlier it depends on what the customer wants or the design of shoe we are making but this is the design of shoe we are making this is what it brings out this is what it shows so that's the process and the procedure and the step we are following we are doing here now as you can see so we are we are showing our upper and our vamp you know we, we added gum earlier so so as to hold it firm and you know we'll be able to sew so this is what we're doing here we are showing yeah this is another uh major aspect of a of a brooks uh uh monk's trap also uh uh, let, let me just see any lace of shoe any lace of shoe apart from loofers this is the uh, aspect of one middle aspect of it whereby we have to cut out our lining for, for for it for the vamp we have to cut out our lining for it not something we, we will line it together we cut out the lining for it we apply gum to both sides you know after cutting after cutting out your lining we apply gum to the lining then you apply gum to your leather then you leave it to the next you know to, to the next stage of the shoe so you know you can't do everything at once so that's what we are doing as you can see we, we, we only mark out the uh the, the leather our material so after marking out we, we cut out the lining and we applied gum on both sides Okay, guys, don't forget the discount we are running. Uh, it starts this coming month, which is June. June month to 12, it will last for 12 days. You get your money ready, you don't sleep on it. You know, sleep with snows, uh, stable for it, and let's, let, let's do something, boss. So, so that's that, 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 And if you want to be part of the business, you can always hit us, or, or hit us up on WhatsApp, Facebook, and, and Instagram definitely reply to, to your uh, to your message and if you have a business for us we are, we are good to go we can run business we can run this that's how it works and please don't forget to share the video to your loved ones or to someone who who needs it thank you very much so back to, to business
I'm very sure you've been following this. You've been following the step and everything we've been doing here. It's not as if you are covering anything or hiding anything for you to see. Okay, back to the video. Yeah, yeah. Now I, I said earlier, we applied gum to our uh, our counter, our counter area. The counter, the counter area uh, uh, is joined together already. So we applied gum to it. After applying gum, we then apply our back stay to it. As you can see, that's our back stay. We apply our, we applied our back stay to it. After applying our back stay to it, we applied the lining. We we sewed our foot. We applied it to it. As you can see, just follow the process. You see what I'm saying, and you definitely get what I'm saying. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing here. We applied our our lining. We applied our lining. The one we showed at first, we applied it to 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 our counter parts, to our quarter counter area. So that's what we're doing. So after applying our lining, the lining also serves as our our counter and quarter lining. So we applied our lining. After applying our lining to it. We move to the next step which is the sewing aspect again we sew the two together after sewing up together we we then you know we trim out the excess part of the lining so just follow the process you see what i'm saying after fixing this is the result and at the at the other hand the tongue our tongue in which we sew at first we applied gum to to it so here we are sewing our lining we are sewing our lining alongside with our leather that's what we're doing here
So after sewing and trimming, we punched uh, the area. It's been marked down earlier when we were marking out our, our leather, when we were making use of, of our pattern. So we punched so as to be able to pass our lace up to it, our lace rather. So that's what we're doing here. As you can see, after punching and after trimming the said uh, lining in which we sew at first, uh, after trimming and you know, you see how neat it is. We then punched after punching, we are passing our lace to our brooks. As you can see, we are, we are, we are, and it has a way of uh, passing it. You can't just pass it, you can't just tie your, uh, your, your lace. Like as if you are, you know, as if it's just a normal, normal shoe, a normal thing. Maybe you want to, you are, you are going out and okay, just dust your shoe, pam pam. Okay, let me lace up my shoe and everything. No, it has a way of you tying it, you joining it together when making. So that's the different uh, about that. Uh, then uh, after joining our lace to it, we applied gum at the edge of it. We applied gum as you can see, as, and also the inner part of it. In the inside of the shoe, we applied gum at the edge of it. As you can see here, we applied gum. So after applying gum, we moved to the next stage. We joined our tongue. You know, we have, don't forget we applied gum to it already. So we joined our tongue to it. So after joining our tongue to it, we move on to the next stage. Everything about shoe is step by step. Don't miss out the step. Don't miss out the sewing. I'm very sure you bring out so, some something good. Let let your sewing be neat. Let your work be neat and well detailed. You, I'm very sure you bring out something something good in it out of it. So that's as you can see. Uh, let, let's move to the next step okay here we have the next step uh it, it came early okay so this is our vamping which we showed earlier don't forget so after sewing uh after everything is being done you know how we got here okay fine so here we have our vamp we are joining it alongside with our counter with our cutter as you can see it's bringing out something meaningful here right so that's what we're doing here after that we applied a little gum on it as you can see
don't you forget our lining i hope you haven't forgotten the lining which we cut out separately at first so here we have it this is when we need it we applied it on our leather on the said shoe so as you can see see the way we are applying it here so after applying we moved on to the next step we move on to the next step which is the sewing aspect we we, we yammer it a little so as to you know give it a firm job so after that we we sew up our shoe as you can see it we are almost done with it we are almost done with it so that's how it works just just it's so easy to make once you know uh the step the procedure and, and the things to do so easy just follow the step follow the procedure follow the pattern you'll be good to go for you trust me Yeah, after sewing, here we have it. We trim out the the excess part of the of the line, which is which is inside our shoe. We, we have to trim it out, and I'm very sure you'll be wondering how we how are we going to measure our shoe, you know, so as to get the exact size we are making. This is what we are doing here. We are making sure uh, it's the same measurements with the last we are using with the size of the shoe we are making. So here we have it, and at the other hand our insole is prepared you know how we do already our insole our front stay is already prepared so after preparing them we will knock our front our insole alongside with our last our, our, our front stay is already soaked with gum not soaked with gum don't mind me we already applied gum with it, uh, on it rather and we applied gum on the next dressy area of the shoe we are making of the groups so here is the lasting stage the lasting process where we, we couple our shoe together we, you know, we 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 are molding this you can call it a molding aspect this is the molding aspect the lasting aspect of this shoe. so
while lasting you, i'm very sure you all know the next step if you don't know the next step you have if you are a new viewer a new subscriber just go back to our uh recent videos and check out how we arrived at this stage we applied our front stain after knocking it we cover our shoe together so after covering our shoe together we size uh we mark out our our shoe alongside with our sole so as to be able to apply them to it and to find the necessary area where we are applying our gum where we are putting our gum so as not to give it a rough job or a dirty job uh, so like i said it's a wear the tape ropes there are some ropes whereby it doesn't require the the uh the punching we are we are doing here, as you can see we have the pattern for it also so but according to the design of the shoe we are making it has a punching in front so we have we, we took a pattern we marked it out dot 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 that like around uh, uh, just as you, you saw it not quite long so after marking out and we, here we are punching we punch out the design we punch out the mount area and we are, we are we are good to go So after punching, we, we come, we, we gum ourselves together with our shoe, and here we have it after doing our finishing, after polishing, here we have a couple shoe and gloves ready, ready to take good. It's ready for use, bro. So that's how it is, that's how it works here. So thank you very much guys for staying tuned. Don't forget our promo is coming in a few days time, that's in the month of June. So get your money ready, don't sleep on me to sleep with snows. Let's do something so yeah we have it if you like to be a part of the business or learn or you know be a resell you can always hit us up on ig on instagram oh sorry on ig on facebook at b.footies for both and also on whatsapp you can write to us thank you very much see you guys next time stay blessed